What's up guys, welcome back to the video, welcome back to the vlog. I'm here with the Mustang, and as you know, uh, well, as you can see, there's something wrong with it. Once again, I know, I know every other video, there's something wrong with the Mustang, but hey, that's Ford ownership, what can I tell you? Um, besides the point, I'm very happy today because, you know, I'm in Colorado. A lot of people kind of say Colorado's like a skiing, it's cold. Bro. It is November, uh, November, like, November 3rd. It's election day. The grass is still green. Uh, over here, the grass is, the grass is green. It is 83 degrees outside today. Give or take a few. Um, hit 85, it got down to like 80 something. But it's a nice day out, you know? We're still getting summertime vibes. The three valve Mustang, that especially, in the three valve Mustang, is my least favorite part about this car. Well, least and favorite, uh, I guess. Because I love how modifiable the engine is. You know, camming this car is easy. Supercharging this car is easy. Everything's super easy on this car to do, but it is so unreliable. And that's where we're at today because the voltage regulator and the alternator had gone bad. Again, so. What's up guys? So it's the next day. I'm back here obviously with the three valve. I just wanted to talk for a little bit today. I got something that's like on my mind that I really want to talk about and it's the three valve. It's a everybody knows of the three valve, but they don't know it as like the Mustang that's like good that people want per se. That is the 50, my friend. Everybody wants the 50. The 50 is a great car. It's a great motor. But which one's better? I have had this for two years, this three valve for two years. Um, and the car has given me so much problems. Honestly, I love the car, but it has given me more than plenty of problems. So the three valve, I have done a lot to this car. Um, I've wrapped it, I've put every exterior mod I could find on that car, and I absolutely love the car. I am bonded to the car because it was my first car. But I have started to think, is it time to get a 5.0? The 11, 2011, 2012 5.0s, are a couple grand more expensive than this you, you know save that up and then sell this for 5.0 obviously i could switch over some of the things like the wheels the coilovers the seats i don't know i could switch over some stuff from this car and make the 5.0 look really good straight out of the box but this is the kicker the three valve i wanted to run around 12s 10 to 12s were my goal i'd have to get a supercharger a turbo kit i'd have to get sometimes a some, some type of boost and on top of that i'd have to forge the internals and you know Getting forged internals and then getting them installed because I can't install forged internals myself, it would be a disaster. I would blow things up and that would be a really expensive mistake. But I'd pay somebody to do the internals and then I'd be running 10 to like 10 to 12s with boost and fully bolts internals. And then I'd end up needing to do the transmission, the diff, the axle, all kinds of stuff. However, a 5.0 out of the box, you're making almost 400 horsepower. I absolutely love the 5.0. It would be a 2011 to 2012. It would replace the three valve. Obviously, the three valve has had a lot done to it. Um, I would wrap a grabber blue or maybe black. I would put a cowl hood on it. I love the cowl hoods. I would put a front splitter on it and stuff. I think to start off, at least, I would put these wheels with these coilovers on the 5.0. Um, I may put these seats in the 5.0. I don't know because I need to find some stock replacements if I get a good enough offer. I would put a short throw on the 5.0. I'd do almost everything that's done to this to the 5.0, but there'd be more content. Um, it'd be a faster car. It'd be all around less clapped, if that makes sense, because this thing's pretty clapped. It'd be an all around more uh, enjoyable car, I feel. So, I don't know. Just a, a thought. Comment down below. Which one you think is better, and if I should keep the three valve or get the five valve? The only thing that's making me keep the three valve right now is my personal connection to it. I love this car. I've had experiences with this car, and it was my first car. I bought it myself. I absolutely love that factor. Um, the five valve has a lot more mods available. It's a lot faster. It's a lot all around nicer of a car. Um, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, Three valve or five valve? I don't know. You guys help me make the decision. Cause I, I want to, I think I would do it, but I'm just a little bit stumbled if that makes sense. But yeah, that's, that's kind of where we stand. The three valve, however, is looking great right now. The five valve also has the more modern looking front end, rear end, 
more modern looking all around. Um, yeah, so I could wrap the 5.0. Um, have pure finishes. Drew and Wesley over at Pure Finishes. If you guys need any wrap in Colorado, any uh, tint, any any vinyl job or detail job here in Colorado, hit up Pure Finishes. Drew and Wesley will hook you up. In the 5.0, we can make a grabber blue, put a cow on it, make it look like the exact same car, but it would be an all around nicer car. So tell me what you guys think. I think I, think I want to do it, but I don't know. I kind of need, I need the extra shove per se, but yeah, there it is. What do you guys think? Also, peep, like I said, the beautiful sunset. So yeah. What do you guys think? Should the 3 valve finally go and get replaced by a 5.0? Comment down below. Also, go follow me on Instagram. Link in the description below. And just like that, see you guys next video. Peace out.